Well, we're a little bit more than a week away from the start of Razorback football, and this year fans can expect to see some major changes. Five News reporter Veronica Ortega shows us what it'll be like for fans planning to attend a game. Razorback Stadium is empty, but soon it will be filled again with the roar of the crowd calling the Hogs. But capacity will be limited to 16,500 fans. We were able to develop a plan that was approved within all of the health and safety mandates that are put in place for any major outdoor events like this. The footprint of the parking lot will be condensed and there will be shuttle service from lot 56. A big change this year, no tailgating. We'll open the parking lots a little bit later than we have in the past. Uh, those will open two and a half hours prior to kick. People will notice social distancing markers throughout the stadium and masks are required from the time fans enter the stadium until they leave. The only time that there is a reprieve on that is when you're actively eating or drinking. If you've got a medical issue related to mask wearing. Well, the digital scanner isn't new. All tickets this year will be mobile only. So we're trying to uh, eliminate to the extent that we can touch points for people. Razorback Athletics will be pulling old video and sounds to pump through the stadium. Cheer and band performances won't be on the field, but played on the big screen. We're going to do the best job we can at messaging in advance, messaging in mass on game day, trying to educate everyone that, you know, we, we need everyone to be safe and sound and do the right thing to allow us to have events. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Veronica Ortega, 5 News. About 1,600 tickets have been reserved for students, 500 for the away team. Fans can also buy a cardboard cutout for $50 to put in the stands. First game of the season, one week from Saturday against the Georgia Bulldogs.